Amazing visuals like this sunset Wednesday night are made possible by air pollution. The particles from wildfire smoke blowing across the mountains from the west have been noticeable, visually and even by smell. Those particles are teaming up with ozone pollution, also prevalent on the front range this week. Pick your poison. Do you rather want to get run over by a bus or a bit truck? So both, both are really, really bad for your health. Gabby Fister studies air quality at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. She says both smoke particles and ozone have short-term and long-term health impacts, mainly to the respiratory system. Ozone is a gas that can easily get into our bodies. And the wildfire smoke has many small particles scientists call PM2.5 because they are particulate matter that is 2.5 microns or less. That's smaller than the diameter of a human hair. But why we are mostly concerned about small particles is because when we breathe them in, they don't get yet filtered out in our nose. They can make it deep in our lungs. And the very, very small particles can even get all the way into our bloodstreams. Air quality alerts were issued this week because the levels of PM2.5 and ozone had the potential to reach level three out of six. The Colorado Health Department calls that unhealthy for sensitive groups. But the advice from Pfister, avoid breathing too much of the outside air even if you don't feel the symptoms of watery eyes, scratchy throat, or shortness of breath. She says it's a similar choice to how much unhealthy foods people are willing to eat, despite studies showing long-term health impacts to human health. I cannot forbid you to go to the grocery store, buy soda, and drink your soda. But we know that it's not the best for your health. So you can get advice and guidance and saying, limit the amount of soda that you drink. And with pollution, it's a bit, a bit the same. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.